Hello YouTube. Uh, it has been a long time since I upload a video. This video is for my friend Mario on a Facebook construct group. I will be showing you how to make uh, a typewriting effect for a text object. This method should work on construct 2. Uh, I make this video because uh, Mario has a problem because Construct 2 has become obsolete and uh, Spira has ended their support. Right now, there is no uh, asset store, so he cannot find uh, a good plugin for his uh, text effect. Let me show you how you can do uh, the typewriting effect without any plugin. Uh, actually, there are many ways to implement uh, text effect, but let me explain uh, how this is going to work. Uh, this is one way to implement a text effect. And I will be showing you the design first. All right. First, we will have text effect. A text effect. Uh, one way to do this is to use uh, event block every and whatever speed you know speed in second, whatever speed you want. Uh, every speed, and you use. Uh, I believe it will be left expression, and you tell it what takes to show and how many character from the left side which is from the beginning right I would say X to show and then you make this X plus one and it will make this X plus one every say one second so the first second it will show the first character the second it will show the second character and the third show the third uh, in that order but uh, in that case you will have one text on the screen uh, I mean uh, on the scene what I would like to do this time is to make each text has their own timer so that when there are two texts it will be showing each at their own pace. So let's do that now. In this case, I will be need, uh, we will need this one. We need text object, all right, two OBJ, okay. We will need timer behavior. We will need the text value or a string which is the complete string that will be showing after uh, the effect is complete all right text value and then we will need uh, I call it uh, the last character all right and then lastly, we need speed, which is the speed that uh, the text will show, uh, will run. Okay, that's it. Let's go. Construct. I don't have construct two anymore, and I'm not going to go through all the problem to you know download construct two, which is obsolete, and uh, install it, uh, and revive my skill with the program, you know, code it and uh, uninstall it. I'm not going to go that far. I will do this in Construct 3, and I hope that you, Mario, will be able to copy what I do here uh, onto your project. Okay, let's go. Now, we start with adding a text here. I put a text here, and then, like the design, right, I add three instant variable the first one I will be 
uh, str which is stand for which stand for string and i will call it str because i'm lazy and then the next one will be the last card which i will call it just last because i'm lazy and the last one will be the speed which is with a little which i will call spd because as you know it i am super lazy i will start it with 0 0.5 as you can see here, this one, this this is the text one. If I copy it into a text two, I can change this one to one, and uh, the text one will have a speed of zero point five, and the text two will have the speed of one. So. As you can see, you can play with it. Just uh, make, make as many texts as you want, as you want, and adjust the uh, variable to get your desired effect. Uh, the next one that we're gonna do is to add a timer behavior. Add behavior, and I say timer. Yep. All right. This takes one. I'm going to have it speak. Uh, but take Mario Sun, which is a Japanese for for a uh, please do your best Mario Sun. The last character to show, which is now zero because it hasn't begin yet. Okay. As for the event sheet, I will say this. Oh, right, we need a trigger. We also need a trigger because if we don't make any trigger, it will start at the start of layout. In this case, I will add touch just for convenience. I will say that in any tab, I mean on tab, any tab, run this. On tab, I will say, I, I will tell text to start timer. What timer? Say time for how long? If say for text long, text dot spd, which is the speed that I would like the, each character to appear. I will call it a type. Now we will tap. Uh, the program will start counting down. How long will it count down? It will count down uh, for 0 0.5 seconds, which is uh, the variable we set in text SPD. And then for every time text object has the type timer expire, I will have it do, do this. I will tell the text to set text to, uh, I think that is left, yeah, that is left, yeah, and it will text and count. What text should we show? We will show self, which is text.str. How long will we show? We will show last, uh, sorry, self.last, which is to the last character. All right, and we will tell the text to add to variable last. How, how much will we add? We add one character. I will put add one first and then show text. Oops. All right. As you can see here, when uh, I set timer, I set it once, but I don't want it once. I actually want it to be regular. I'm not sure if construct2 has this regular pattern. If it doesn't have regular pattern, you simply uh, call the timer again here. Call, call timer, start timer once for how long for self dot speed, you know. But in this case, I will just tell it to show regular speed. When we start, I will touch. See? Gambate Mario Sang. Each text will show up after half a second. What 
if you want it to be faster, simply come here at the text object and let's say 0 0.25. All right, touch, tuck, 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 tuck. and that's how you make a typewriter effect. All right, Mario Sang, I hope this helped. See you again soon. Thank you. Yeah.